Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel, everybody. So, in the last episode, we defeated Kaizo. You saw it ready. Hyper Battle... Or battle. Battery. Hyper Battery Mode on. Let's see what's happening here. Oh my god. Is Kaizo getting, like, destroyed here or something? Jeez. I'll use my blink cards and... Voila! Maximum! I can just give you these cards, but I'd rather duel you for them instead. Oh, okay, yeah. Of course, of course. Original deck one, that's where it's at. Alright, so we're dueling Yuga. Let's see how this goes. Who goes first? Ooh, I get to... No, no, you get to go first. Well, shoot. Oh my god, I need to actually get my shorts. Well, while he takes his damn turn. Oh, Gazelle has been normal summoned. Uh, I don't care. Sorry, I'm over here like, you know. I'm literally changing from jeans to shorts right now while this guy's taking his damn turn. I don't care about any of this. I'll just read this in my damn turn. Oh, that's the one that actually lowers stats, I think? Let, let me... Wait, is, is that the one? Yes, it is. It is that one. Okay. Um, so... Dragon Spellcaster and... God damn it. That's kind of a problem. Uh, this one is a beast, so this one ups Beast Warrior, Fiend, and Machine. If I don't draw something good off of this Mystic Dealer, I am actually going to take a huge... What the hell is this? Um, a huge beating. Oh my god, you got me. You got me. So, all I can do here is empty out my hand. Um, everything here, nothing here is going to work, because this is a spellcaster, so he's going to go down to 14. The field spell is actually coming in handy. Um, I will still go ahead and do a tribute here. Then we're just going to have to, we're going to have to set these. We're going to set you, and then we're going to set, I guess, this one. Just empty out the hand. Um... This is one of those turns, you know? I mean, if you draw five monsters, then you draw five monsters. And then he had the one out to my Mystic Dealer, which potentially had, you know, a shot to make me get something inside of my monster. Just one of those bad luck turns that can happen sometimes, or bad opening hands, unfortunately. So now he's basically just doing whatever he can do here. While I you know, change my pants into shorts over here. I don't even know what that thing does. How did it miss? But there's no point in reading it because I can't respond to it at all. Okay, so let's see what you got. This is not a very good. Well, aside from this thing, possibly. Let's see. Choose up to three monsters in your river with the same type as this card. This card gains attack equal to the total level of those monsters. Time to shuffle those. If you have exactly one, it's one. Okay. So, um, I can tie you. And I already see the, the line here. Uh, but it's a huge risk. Because you have a face down. I'm gonna try to bait something out here. Anything? No. Here's my only chance. I can summon you, I'll be down to 17. Then I can use Windsbird's protection to tie. This is my only shot here. If this fails, there's a very good chance I can lose this duel. Uh, cause that, like, if you destroy my monster somehow... I'm gonna have to, uh, take a gamble here and also put these all in attack mode to do some damage. It's cause I just haven't drawn any magical streams, like, I can't get rid of your card. But to be fair, if I lose, I will say that it was just terrible luck, because it, so far it looks like it. I've just been drawing terribly. In fact, it's crazy how I'm still in this door. I, I really thought you had something back there. But he looks easy. He looks very easy. Okay, so I'm gonna lose my whole board this turn, no doubt about that. I have really weak cards. Oh my god, you actually brought it out. So, this is gonna be interesting how this works. I mean, there's no point in reading any of this right now. I don't know if I can actually out this thing.
You're using all your effects, yeah, I don't care. Go ahead. Up to 54. I take 45 from that. Wait, do you get to attack twice? Oh no, you don't. Okay. All right, let's see what I get. Okay. Um. These effects here. This quick and obvious by opponent is trap card effects. It has how much? It has 3,800. Wait, 3,800. Oh, it's being buffed up, huh? By the god damn it. Um. This card, uh, lab points on one card, this quickens attack equal to the difference. And then this card, this attack equal to one. So because he can't be destroyed by trap cards, I'm really trying to think about how he can out this thing. Because he can't be changed in defense mode, right? Like, this won't work, I don't think. I'm pretty sure this won't work. Let me give it a shot here. No, it doesn't. So actually, I think I automatically lose the duel every time he brings it out. Um, I'm trying to think of any out. The only way to out this thing would be to bring Seven's Road Magician and get a and get the protection spell card to up it by a thousand. That can be an out. Dark Revelation is useless. Curtain of Sparks is useless. Well, actually, no, it's not useless. That would lower you by five. I don't think I have anything that can out that. But because I put you in attack, I actually lost a duel. Since you can just attack over me and that's it. I should have put you all in defense. So that's a loss. So, I guess in future duels, all I can really do... If he brings out the card, I lose automatically unless I have Seven's Road Magician. Um, and a Protection Spell card. Or just Seven's Road Magician by himself, potentially, if I have enough attributes in the graveyard. Um, other than that, it's an instance, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of how this would work. Um, because some of you said this too, but Nail, Nail is another, uh, opponent in, in the, in the regular game, so like before post-game. Nail is an opponent that's also very luck-based like that. These decks break a lot, these maximum decks. A lot of you have been telling me that, that they break a lot. Um, I say this because it's very important to understand that these maximum decks, because they break a lot, they're not competitive, but you could very easily lose these duels and then win these duels depending on the luck. So if you lose to somebody like this, I will just tell you right now, it's not because you were a bad duelist, you know? It's not because you were bad at all and you suck at Yu-Gi-Oh! and clearly not. The real answer is you got bad luck or they got good luck, however you want to see it. Um, I guess I can... There's two ways I can do this. Should I just bring this one out? I don't even know, to be honest. Like, I can do this. I can bring out double this card. But that may not actually be the most ideal thing to do. I'm gonna... Uh, I think I still want to draw that many cards, though. So I'm gonna do... That. And then just uh, tribute both off, I guess. This will give me enough attack. Activate effect, mill one. No, that's not what I wanted to mill. Shoot. I mean, that's okay. That card is useless on your maximum, anyway. So yeah, it just depends. He could very well just bring out the maximum summon card. And just get very lucky. Or he's not going to bring it out. Like, I got lucky against Nail. And I got unlucky against Yuga. So, so far I'm like one for one in terms of luck and bad luck against these maximum decks, so we'll see how this works. Yeah, see, I think he has like one or two pieces in the hand, so he's breaking like crazy because he's waiting for one specific card. Um, but now's my chance to do something here. We're gonna have to do this and blind pop one of them. What do I got? That's not really gonna do anything. Uh, we're gonna summon... Mystic Dealer. Then we're gonna use the effect here. We're gonna summon this one. Ooh, okay. And then we're gonna summon Fire Golem. I think we're just gonna attribute both of these off. So how many attributes do I have in the graveyard now? Because that could actually be very, very good. 
depending on what I mill here, that's, a, that's not going to be enough. I'm only at, what, 3,033? That won't be enough. That'll be 60... Oh my god, are you serious? This is 6,600 damage this turn. Even if I got them both to 36, that would have been 72, so that would not have been enough damage. So, I would have done 600 more. You would have been down to 200 life points. So, that would have been impossible. Alright, well... Let's see, if you get it, you get it. Doesn't seem like it, no. Okay, I could really use some magical streams. Just to guarantee my victory here. Nope! Damn it. I have one more shot. Let's discard that, draw one. I did not get it. We're just gonna do this, and we are gonna empty out the hand just in case we can't win this turn up. I'm pretty sure we can. Set one, set one, activate both effects here. Oh wow, seriously? Seriously. Oh my god, the, the freaking drawing luck has been terrible in these last two episodes for me. Like, that's just, oh man, that's just a slap in the face right there. Okay, attack. And that should be it right there. Yeah, so these duels are just luck based, honestly. Like, if, if they get their maximum card, you lose. If they don't, you win. Because they're going to brick. So, it's honestly just almost 100% dependent on what they draw. That's what's out, uh, like, that's the outcome of the duel. Which is kind of shitty if you think about it, but, eh, whatever. Those skills, more like luck. Okay, my cards are rare, uh-huh. Okay, so I got this, I got this one. Nice. So... What you're supposed to do, and the game doesn't actually tell you this, but I had to do some research just so I know what I'm even doing here. Um, what do I have to go? Is it Nexus or Garden of Curiosity? I think it's the Nexus. What you actually have to do is you have to come all the way over here to uh, Nail. Once you defeat Yuga there, you'll find Nail over here. Talk to him and then duel him. What is it? Uh huh. Yes. Does that answer your question? I don't know. Impressive, Master. Now you anticipated that. That was the question, even though they didn't say a word. Does that mean I was less? What the hell? I'm joking, sweet Master. Besides, you glitch a lot as to test your opponent's true abilities. You are too kind, Master Nail. <laughs> How about a duel? Um, okay, sure. So I only have one option. Oh no, wait, I can use the original one? Oh, I can't. I thought I had to use a maximum deck. No, I don't. Okay, thank god. I don't want to freaking brick like crazy. Then again, you could get all three pieces on your first turn and possibly win right away. Alright. I'm gonna go first. Okay, that's interesting, because I got a couple options here. I think I'm going to use the effect and discard the Fire Golem. Okay, that was probably the worst thing that could happen, because now I have to kind of pick here. Do I want to distribute them off both? I think I do. I want to empty out the hand. So I get to draw more. Do that, and then set both. And end phase. Alright, take your turn. Let's see if you are lucky enough to get your maximum cards first turn. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, you're bringing out this one by itself, though. Okay, so this thing has no effect if you just summon it like this. Battle phase. Okay, we're gonna activate Curtain of Sparks. That'll put you down to 15.
Oh, perfect. Got a magical stream. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to pop one. And then we're going to bring out Dark Sorcerer. Who should I summon? Should I summon... It's actually a bit of a tough one. I think I'm going to bring out this. I'm going to keep the Seven Zeroid Witch for later in case I can bring out a Seven Zeroid Magician, possibly. We'll have to see. I'm also going to set this. I'm not going to use it. It's better to keep it. And then that's Dark Revelation. Okay. How's my graveyard looking? I have four. Okay. I can already activate it. This is going to do 2,000 and then 17. Put you down to 41, about halfway there. And base. And here it is. You got it. You got it, and I actually destroyed one of them. So you had four copies within the first nine cards. Wow the luck. Wow the luck. Okay, this is technically not over if I draw a Sevens Road Magician. Um, well, actually, I have to see something here. Because you're also immune to traps, right? I'm pretty sure. This card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's trap card effects. Yeah. Um, so there's no point in doing that. Okay, so if I draw Sevens Road Magician, I can still do this. I did not. Oof, that is really bad. That is really, really bad. Um, in that case, the best that I can do is just do that, and then I guess tribute set both of these. I have one turn left, I think. Well, I don't know. I don't even know your other effects, to be honest, but I'm not even reading them. I don't, I don't care. No, I didn't mean to do that. I have to draw a Sevens Road Magician. I have to do it. That is the only card that can out. I would also love a Magical Stream. That way I can guarantee my attack over you, but we'll have to see. I can't believe this guy drew four pieces in the first nine cards. That is ridiculous. He was at 31 cards when he got all three, and I had already destroyed one, which is an engraver. So he got four pieces in the first nine cards, three of which were different. That is ridiculous. Alright, last turn, or maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I may have another turn still. But it depends, because now you have back row cards. I could easily out my Seven Sword Magician. Come on. Oh, I have Mystic Dealer, that could do something, but... Wait, hold on, I really have to... Okay, I have to try and bait something out there, but... Oh boy. I am just not drawing what I need. And you are drawing what you need. You got your freaking four pieces in the first night. I can't believe that. Damn it. How did that even happen? Alright, this is one of my last chances here, I think. Gotta do this. Yes! Yes, finally! Okay. You do have a back row card, which could be a huge problem. The other thing too though is, okay, I have to see how many attributes I have. I have fire, water, light, earth, dark, okay, I have all of them. So that's six attributes times three, wait, yeah, yeah, six, that'd be 3,900. I would be at 3,900 attack, so I have to do this, which means I can't actually bring out Seven's Road Witch because I have to use this cause to discard that. So I, the only way to out this is to tribute them both. I can't use the effect of Seven's Road, which I need to keep a card. So we're doing that. And then we're using the effect. Okay. Up to 39. Then we're going to do this. This is the only way to do this. This is the only out I have for these max cards. Up to 49. And if this attack lands... There's a very good chance I could win. If it doesn't, there's a good chance I could lose. Alright, so we both got lucky. That the luck kind of evened out there. Oh, what is this? Uh, when a cyber spawns... Oh, that's a cybers? You draw two cards in place? Okay, that's whatever. I mean, you're only going to draw one card. So I'm not too scared about this. I have a Dark Revelation as well. Now, if this guy actually brings with another Maximum Summon, I am officially going to give up on this Let's Play. Because, oh my god, that... 
is just some rig bullshit. Seriously, if he does that. So I think it's fair to say our luck has kind of evened out in this duel. I did get the Seven Sword Magician when I needed it from that Mystic Dealer. What are you doing? Come on. I don't have all day. All that thinking just for three sets? Alright, I gotta just pierce through all these things so I can attack. Um, that's not very good. Oh boy. That's not good at all. I, I don't even have three monsters. Come on, man. That is so bad. Dude, I'm actually... I could actually deck out here. I really could. I don't even know if I, no, I want to do this thing. I probably shouldn't have done that. So I have a Dark Revelation. I'm going to set this. And I'm going to set the Wind Spirit's Protection as well. This is bad. I'm going to draw four. I'm going to go to nine. Oh, god damn it. I, I have to speed this up. I really have to do it. Because I could very easily lose this duel by decking out. Your turn. Okay, I don't know what this does. Excavate the top card, equal to number of cards, and play the field, and place the excavated cards. Oh, that's... that's a really bad... I'm not even gonna look at these. Just whatever. Bottom or top? Top. Okay. Come on, hurry up, Nail. Jeez. Please don't set everything. Yoctron. Oh my god. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna deck out. He's gonna use the effect, isn't he? Okay, and then he's gonna draw three and then put three back. Heavenly Gift. What is that? The moment to three hands to the graveyard at the throw levels. Okay. If it's ten or higher. Wow. Okay. You drew two. You're gonna tribute. I don't know what that does. Okay. I gotta do something this turn. I did not get any tribute monsters. Oh my god. Alright, so what does this do? I've got 16. Um, here's one thing I can do. We're gonna activate this effect here. We're gonna send, I think, this one. I'm gonna change this battle position. That's at 15. Okay, then we're gonna activate its effect. I definitely think we got this. Then we're going to activate Wind Spurs Protection. We're going to discard Dark Revelation. We're going to up your... Yeah, we, we definitely got this. And then we're just going to summon this one. Alright, enter battle. This is actually 34, which is more than enough. Look at that. We freaking did it. That was a little crazy. But we did it. Wow. Your spirit is impressive, as are my maximum cards. Acquired the y y Drago cards. Okay, cool. Hmm. Really? Competition is up their game, okay. Gonna okay, get all three. One, two, three. And then we get a deck recipe. Awesome. Um, okay. One thing I should do now, and I should have done this actually in the beginning of this episode, is I think we can buy more stuff now. Yeah, there are some more, some new ones here. Absolute Defense deck, Stormcaller Thunder deck, 
Constructor Dragon Deck 2, Sebastian's Sa Seed Bastion's Chair Deck, Magician's Power Deck 2, Counter Ant Attack Deck, Phantom Loot's Annihilation Deck, and that's it. I don't know how many more there's left in this shop, but I know I have a ton of deck recipes now. I can always just take a look over here, but I got a lot. Yeah, there's still some sold in the shop here, seeing it's, that's, there's a lot still, so. I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. So now that we've done all this, I think what we have to do is go back to downtown Goha. Because now the next segment is going to actually appear here, I'm pretty sure. I think it's... Yep, right over here. This here. Hi. Hey, I didn't expect to see you here. Hey. Are you rush dueling? Hey. We're here to rush duel too, but that's not the only reason. Ribby's hitting Luke, so he doesn't go do anything crazy. I mean, too crazy. Wow. No one's challenged you yet, Luke. Hey, you there. Huh? You're... If my eyes don't deceive me, I believe I'm looking at the first winner of the Battle Royale. I am Janko and Taunt. Please to, please to meet your acquaintance. I have a humble request for... for oh, oh, no. Not now. What the hell? I need to draw a card before I lose control again. Let's rush duel. What is wrong with you? I remember this. Draw deficiency disease. Seriously? Whatever. Okay, let's duel. I'll use original deck one, like always. But yeah, this is apparently the whole, like... I don't know, like, once you duel Nail and then you unlock this part, this is like the second segment. It's like the, the main post-game segment of the game. I believe the mission will actually update now by this point, so like you'll be able to know where to go. Anyway, I'm gonna go uh, first to play here. Let's do that. Okay, this is a pretty bad hand. Wonderful. Uh, we're gonna set. We're gonna set. We're going to set. <laughs> we're going to set. This is some brilliant commentary, isn't it? And we are, we are going to summon one. We'll summon. Alright, that's my hand. Just emptied it out. Take your turn. Blue medicine. What is this? I'll take it. Minus one to gain 400 life points. That's a great start for me. Seems like you have a pretty bad deck, maybe. End phase. Okay, that was easy. Give me some tribute monsters. That's good. Oh my god, I already got all three copies of this? Are you serious? Okay, we're gonna tribute you. And we're gonna bring out Hydro Magician. Oh, what is this? Anti Birdie Flag. Uh, let's put them inside the monster for 100 less attack from your hand or graveyard base up. Okay. What does this do? That's... You could've just set that and it'll save your card. I, I don't understand your freaking playstyle. Oh wait, no, it's seven. Oh shoot, I thought it was one tribute monster. My bad. With 100 less attack or you feel gain attack, you go to another inside the monsters on your field tens. Why does that seem so underpowered for being a true tribute monster with 100 attack? I don't know. Um... Oh my god, our deck is we're clogged up with this stuff. Huh? We're gonna do this. Because we just have too much stuff going on. We have to discard this so we can up the attack of... Um, this one. And then we're gonna set the other one. Because... I, I need to draw cards, you know? Enter battle. Okay, so we're gonna attack with you to this one. And then we're going to attack with Hydro Magician. What is this? Dude. What kind of deck... What kind of post-game deck is this? Okay, whatever. End phase. Take your turn.
setting, setting. Just a bunch of setting. Wow, your board is completely filled up. Alright, not a whole lot I can do this turn, I don't think. Yeah, it's just gonna be a... Uh, oh wow, that's... Not very good. Uh, we're gonna tribute you. And I guess we're gonna set this. But that's actually all I can do. Just attack whatever. I have a sneaky suspicion you're gonna play some card like special summon three weak monsters and then you're gonna fill up the board and then do some crazy attack shenanigans and then I'm gonna die immediately or something. I just need you to stop setting three cards for sure and I have to try to do some damage. But you're kind of being in the way here with all your weak insect monsters. Forest, that's fine. Another set. Okay, well. Oh my god, I can't really do much here. I mean, okay, here's something I can do. This will actually work. At least I have you, or else I would just be stuck here infinitely until somebody decks out. We're gonna discard, I guess this one. Change that one. 300, okay, now we're gonna use this here. We'll discard, I guess, this card. And then we'll up the attack of my strongest card, which is you. And we're gonna enter the battle phase here. This is the only way to do some efficient damage, because I don't know what else, what other way we can do something. He's just being annoying now, he's being a troll. This guy's deck is terrible, but he just plays a bunch of, he plays like freaking 30 level 4 lower monsters and just sets 3 every turn. The hell kind of strategy is this? I mean, if you're trying to deck me out, that would be pretty good. But you need some deck out cards to do that. Just watch. He's gonna set three. Just watch. He's totally gonna set three cards and then pass. And the worst part is it's gonna take forever because of this thinking thing. Just set your cards, please. I'm never dueling this guy ever again. He is so annoying. You've got to be kidding me. What? Look at this. This is all he's doing. This is all he's doing. Thank God I drew Torma. I better get Seven Sword Magician right now. Freaking hell. Well, actually, two Tormas is really good. Okay. We're going to tribute this one. I don't think that'll be enough. Well, I don't know. I think it depends on the stats. No, I think we got this. Thank God, man. Jeez. Oh, if I didn't get my Tornums, I'd be here all day until I get a Seven Sword Magician, probably. 300. Oh, boy. No, I can do this, though. I can do this. Because if I attack with... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we got it. Now we're going to enter battle. Actually, wait, how much damage would that be? Oh no, we got it, we got it. Oof, thank god. That is such an annoying deck. What the hell kind of strategy is it to just run a bunch of level 1 garbage monsters and then just set 3 every turn? Are you... Was this strategy actually to deck me out? It actually probably was. Because in this game, Rush Dueling, as long as you have 3 monsters to set every time, and if your opponent doesn't have ways to destroy those outside of battle, you'll never take battle damage. Because even if they summon three strong monsters, all they can do is attack into each one of them. So it's actually a legitimate strategy in rush dueling. Huh. I didn't even think about that. Uh-huh. We're in overjoyed, yeah, whatever. 
to draw 40 cards per turn. What? <laughs> Alright. Crackle Duelist, like you, please read the Heavy Cavalry Club. This is getting good. Okay. Ah. Expert Duelist, the leader is Asana. Uh huh. So we gotta defeat Asana. <laughs> Alright. You can now go to Go Number Six Elementary School via other areas. What does that mean? The hell does that mean? Via other areas? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I guess we can do it. Uh, let me take dual quizzes. Did we unlock any more? No, right? Oh, we actually did. Maximum monsters are here. Whoa. I'm saving these for later, though. Not doing that yet. Okay, let's go to other areas. Go to number six elementary. We're up there in time again. This place looks pretty big. Gotta check every corner though of the map to see if there's actually something. Okay, nothing there. There's a building over there, but I don't think there's gonna be anything. No, there's not. Is there even anything? I don't think there is. Sure brings back memories. Yeah, not all of them are good. Remember how the forces are transferred to school. And they just live in a... What the heck? That's what happened? Is that the whippersnapper who won the battle royale? Welcome to a gold number 6 elementary. Hey beard bro, where's Asana? That's not a beard, Lou. Those are sideburns. You wish to parlay with a princess, then you gotta get past me first. The name's Galling, heavy hitter of the Heavy Cavalry Duel Club. It's tradition at school that if someone challenges you to duel, you have to accept. Okay. Yeah, but that'll be for next time. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.